What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel. And if you're new here, we're all about breaking down tech topics and helping you gear up for a tech savvy future. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our tech explorations. And today we're diving into a career path that's both crucial and fascinating. And that is a data analyst. So whether you're looking to shift careers or just starting out, understanding the role of data in tech today is vital. So let's gear up, dive in and decode the journey of becoming a data analyst in this detailed guide. Let's get to it. So let's begin by understanding what exactly a data analyst does. Now imagine having the power to transform raw data into insights and strategies that can significantly influence major business decisions. That's pretty much the daily life of a data analyst. They sift through data to find trends, make predictions, and help companies be more efficient. Now data analysts are sought after in nearly every industry. From big tech companies to healthcare, everyone needs experts who can translate data into actionable insights. And that's where you come in. Essential skills for this role include a solid understanding of statistical analysis, also data mining and the ability to communicate your findings effectively. And you'll also need to master several tools, which we'll cover next. So let's take a closer look at what tools and skills you need to build your career in data analysts. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. Now, becoming a data analyst involves several strategic steps. And here's how you can start your journey. Most data analysts start with a degree in statistics, computer science, or a related field. Now, if you're changing careers, consider data analytics boot camps or online courses that focus specifically on data analysts. And it's crucial to become proficient with these key tools. Like for instance, you need to start with the basics like Excel for spreadsheets and then move over to more powerful software like SQL to manage databases effectively. And MySQL is a fantastic tool that's both open source and you can install within your home network. Now, another powerful tool that you'll typically see data analysts understanding is Microsoft Power BI. Now this tool helps you visualize your data and share insights across your organization or embed them in apps or websites. So understanding Microsoft BI will be extremely beneficial as it's widely used for business intelligence solutions. And also don't forget, I know I spoke about statistics. Well, you need to look into learning Python and R because both of those are essential for data manipulation and analysis tasks. Now, the next thing you wanna do is build a portfolio. And this means by applying what you've learned by tackling real world data sets, create projects that showcase your ability to extract insights and visualize data, you know, create you a GitHub page. That's a great way of demonstrating your skills. And this will show potential employers that you do understand what you're doing when it comes to data. Now, next you wanna get certified. While not always mandatory, certifications can give you an edge. And I know CompTIA released a Data Plus certification, and I believe that's a pretty great start, but there's definitely other certifications and trainings out there. And based on my knowledge of reading CompTIA's Data Plus certification, it covers a range of data skills from analytics to visualization, governance, and more. And also, I'm starting to see that it's recognized across the industry and can significantly boost your credibility. So definitely look into that. But there are also other certifications out there and training that you can look into. That's just one. And I'm not trying to sell CompTIA's products. You know, you can go through whatever training you want to. That's just one of the ones 
off the top of my head that I thought about will be good for you guys to look into. For instance, Tableau for data visualization. That's another good one. Now, one of the next things I think you should do is look into internships or entry level jobs because they are invaluable for gaining hands-on experience. Most people ask that question, well, how do I get things on my resume for experience? Well, you wanna look into things like internships. And also sometimes you, you may need to take the lower paying job in order to get to where you want to, because they can help you understand real world data challenges as well. And you can learn from seasoned professionals. And then also one of the things I talk about is your LinkedIn profile. This is a great way of getting recommendations from your colleagues. Now, lastly, data analytics is a fast evolving field. So keep learning new tools and technologies, join forums, attend workshops, and network with other professionals in the field. This will help you stay updated and possibly open up new opportunities. And that's pretty much what you need to know to get started on your path to becoming a data analyst. It's a role with immense potential. And one thing that's crucial in our data-driven world so whether you're analyzing data to improve health outcomes or to boost the company's revenue, your skills will be integral to making informed decisions. Now, did you find this video helpful? If so, smash that like button and let me know what you think in the comments below. I love to hear about your experience or any questions you might have about getting into the field. And remember, Keep It Techie is your go-to channel for all things tech. So make sure you subscribe and have notifications turned on. We've got plenty of exciting content coming your way and I can't wait to share with you guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course, keep it techie.